Oh, look, well, the tipping point was really when I did go for a ride in an original Haynes 233 that Roland and Trent built that uh, I just loved it and just you could just tell that the formulas, even the old ones, they, they just run so good through the water and and they're just beautiful sexy boats and who doesn't like something sexy as a toy and uh, just love it. Basically how I got into boating was mum and dad loved to get on a Port Phillip Bay and do their snapper fishing coming from a sort of an Italian background back in those days we were always hand lining and uh, slowly as I grew up uh, mum and dad would they'll drop me into the water and uh, I'd be able to take the tinny out with my mates and uh, back then there was no GPS's we just had landmarks that mark and out we went and would catch some fish and then in the afternoon we'd do a little bit of scurfing up and down Mills Beach there in Mornington and just had a ball and uh, slowly just moved up to a, buying a little bit bigger boat and then a little bit bigger boat up until what we've purchased here and um, Yes, but now we're in this beautiful boat. If the weather does turn on us, I know this boat's going to get me home. Previous boats, we are pretty much ready to ring the Coast Guard and so I put out a pan pan. Um, whereas this boat here, I know that I can just take it easy and we can push through some rough conditions. Weather reports are weather reports, but they're not always accurate. We can get out wide and then all of a sudden it can just blow up and we can just put some lures out the back, take our time and trawl back and the boat's going to get us home safe every day of the week. Look, I'm very fortunate that I fish 99% of the time with my wife. I'm a really lucky man that, I, that my wife loves and is as passionate about fishing as I am. Um, there's not many blokes out there that their missus is like going out fishing. I do push her a little bit in some challenging conditions because the wind can pick up, it can get chopped and I'm like, come on, just another half an hour, babe, we'll drop out, we'll drop out. But I do push her, but she loves it and I'm very lucky, like I said, she can back the trailer if we're going to do a big trip like here to Eden, she can go behind the wheel in the car and tow the boat, uh, she can park it. It's just a beautiful package that I'm really fortunate enough to have a beautiful wife that just enjoys what I enjoy doing and we do it together. Look, my boating adventures have changed uh, since purchasing the Eden Craft, joining the family, which it really is, with Grant, Kerry, Josie, Patty and everyone else. Uh, there's just too many to mention, but it's a really good networking and it is like a family. Uh, I did go on the Tassie trip, Tasmania, we did that last year and had an absolute ball and, uh, and doing it again this year. So it just opens up so many avenues, meeting good people, uh, communicating and networking, all the above. It's just, it's just fantastic, just like we are here sitting down here on the river here in Eden and, and just meeting all the crew and having a few drinks and good food and lots of laughs, a bit of banter. But that's just us. We like it's always it's always a challenge. We always want to win and get the biggest fish and there's all the tails, fish tails, and it's really, really, really good. I do believe if you're considering yourself for buying an Eden craft, I think you should get in the car, you should head down to Geelong there, do a factory tour, meet all the crew, meet the boys that build them, and see the quality and the time and what goes into building these boats. They're second to none. They are just built tough, strong, and the sex appeal of them. The finish on them is just beautiful. And every boat that comes out of that factory, Grant and Care and Josie and Patty and the whole crew, they should be very, very proud of how they've built the company up and the product that they have got rolling out that door.